Last Tuesday, Bungie showcased the latest gameplay from the upcoming expansion, The Final Shape, but alongside the reveal of Prismatic, the new combination of light and darkness subclass, a relatively unknown leaker came to prominence detailing leaks of Destiny 3 in development at Bungie. Well, today I'd like to take a look at all of the info that's out there in the wild at the moment and ask the question, is Destiny 3 in development? But well, before we dive into it today, let me know in the comments what you think about the potential of Destiny 3 being in development at Bungie. You know, what do you want to see from it and do you think it's a good idea? Let me know in the comments, we'd love to hear from you. Okay, let's dive right in. So on April the 9th, Bungie exceeded expectations with their final shape reveal, showcasing new features coming, like the new enemy faction, the Dread, exotic class items and the new subclass Prismatic. That allows us to combine elements of existing subclass into a new, super powerful subclass with combinations that we've never seen before. Oh, we did have an interesting opening to that showcase with the final shape with Luke Smith, former Destiny 2 game director, opening the show by telling us Bungie would be back soon after the final shape to let us know what's next for Destiny 2 and beyond. So while the final shape has been billed as the conclusion to the Light vs Darkness saga, 10 years in the making, now we haven't really had confirmation of what is coming next, other than episodes which follow on straight on from the final shape for the following 12 months, which should lead us into a new expansion. Well, Luke Smith hasn't been the public face for Destiny 2 for a long, long time, with Joe Blackburn taking on that public role for many years since taking over as game director from Luke Smith. Well now Joe is gone and the final shape is close, it is now time for Bungie to lift the curtain on what is next for Destiny, and that could include a new mainline entry for the franchise, Destiny 3. Well back in February 2024, a random Reddit account called 32638272187 posted this, so anyone know if Prism has been leaked yet? Since there's been no answer yet, I guess I'll leak it. Bungie is working on a system called Prism that will allow players to mix and match abilities from different subclasses. This is one of the things being worked on during the delay. Imagine throwing a lightning grenade while on solar or proccing Devour and rampaging with Stormcaller. And they went on to say, well, Destiny 3 is, was, I don't know, in development under a codename Payback. Now, one of the big changes for Destiny 3 was, again, I don't know, for classes to no longer exist and allow any character to spec into an ability, since lore-wise, there's no reason you couldn't. Hunters explicitly learn Blink from Warlocks and Blink isn't tied to a single element, hence the logic there. Well, this was the first time that Prism or Prismatic had been mentioned in public. You know, therefore, given the accuracy of this leak weeks before the official announcement from Bungie, remember, this was posted on Reddit in February and the announcement came in April. You know, people have gone back to look at other comments made by this Reddit user and have found some interesting information there with a credible focus on Destiny 3 being in development. So it's interesting because the league says Destiny 3 is in development under a code name Payback. Well, there's potential here that Prismatic is building up to something in Destiny 3, but Bungie is getting rid of subclasses altogether, allowing us to mix and match light and darkness abilities on the same subclass. So the leaker detailing Destiny 3 is one thing, but other things have also been pointing to Destiny 3 as well. Well, it's also interesting what the leaker says about classes. So so one of the big changes for Destiny 3 is for classes to no longer exist. So I wanted to stop for a moment and have a look at that. I reckon they mean subclasses rather than classes. I still expect Titans, Warlocks and Hunters to be in Destiny in the future, but I could see a future where the subclasses go away. So what I'm talking about there is Arc, Solar, Void, Stasis, Strand, that kind of thing. I could imagine the subclasses going away but I can't really imagine the classes going away. I don't really know what Destiny would be without Hunters, Titans and Warlocks, but let me know what you think and what they meant down there in the comments. Okay, so let's have a look at the information pointing to a potential Destiny 3. So first of all, I doubt Bungie built Prismatic in the delay between the first Final Shape reveal in August 2023 and the second reveal stream in April 2024. The development of that would have taken months, maybe years, and testing to get Prismatic into a state where it A, functions correctly, and B, doesn't break the game. That's going to take a really long time. The testing period alone would have been months and months of work. 
Well, second, Bungie hasn't really been careful with power creep recently. Over the years, Bungie have scaled back the power gains in Destiny you know, through various means, sunsetting being one of those very controversial, to make sure our Guardian's power has been kept within reasonable limits. Otherwise, we're just going to blow through the content with ease. Now, with the return of some of the most powerful weapons in the game with Into the Light and the Brave Arsenal, you know, Bungie aren't being so careful when it comes to power creep. And just look at Prismatic. That looks absolutely broken. Now, you could view this as one final blowout for the next game where we get a big reset moment. Well, third, Luke Smith's wording when it comes to what is next for Destiny is quite revealing. Now, he said Bungie would be back after the final shape to let us know what is next for Destiny 2 and beyond. Now, you could interpret that as we're going to get episodes, then maybe another expansion about 12 months down the line after the final shape, and then maybe we start the build up to Destiny 3. If Destiny 3 is in development, it's likely been in development for a few years, and it's likely to take a few years more, so I doubt we're going to see Destiny 3 if it indeed does exist until at least 2026 or 2027, and to be honest, that is being quite optimistic. Finally, I think the Sony acquisition comes into play here as well. They purchased Bungie to help them out with their live service push, and while Sony you know, has been seeing great success with Helldivers 2 in recent months, Bungie have been working with other studios like Naughty Dog, providing feedback on their live service games. So far, this has led to Naughty Dog canning their live service version of The Last of Us, plus also plenty of public criticism from Sony management towards Bungie regarding how Bungie conduct their business. Now, however, Bungie could have shared Destiny 3 plans with Sony to help seal the deal, showing them what's to come in a few years' time. Why would Bungie want to make a Destiny 3, you might ask? Well, Destiny 2 can only go on for so long. You know, Bungie have refreshed the engine and injected new life into the game over the years, but it can only grow for so much time. A new numbered sequel for Destiny could mean a fresh start. You know, it'll give Bungie the chance to create a better new player experience, onboard new players, plus also makes the game less intimidating for players to jump in or come back. You know, the current state of Destiny 2 is very debatable. You know, some hardcore fans love the game. Some hardcore fans you know, have left the game in droves to play other games, and a new numbered sequel is the perfect opportunity to press the hard reset button and migrate all existing players along with a massive influx of new players as well. Well, that random Reddit user 32638272187 also has posted a few more times in recent days. So they've said, I've seen some speculation on this front, and want to set the record straight. Codename Payback does not mean we lose in the final shape or after the three episodes, although, to be fair, I know nothing more than the, any of you about the episodes. The internal codename for Destiny 3 is not a reference to any story events. Rather, Codename Payback refers to Bungie getting payback against themselves by creating something they hope everyone will love. Now, I do not know if there's any plans for Destiny 2 items to carry over into Destiny 3. They followed that up with another one saying, Destiny 3 is Destiny 3, not a big DLC, not a revamp of Destiny 2. Destiny 3, as far as my most recent information goes, is a new game in the franchise. I thought that would be obvious. Well, the timing here is very interesting given we are approaching the Final Shape expansion. That is due for release in June 2024. And then it's likely the three episodes are going to take up the next 12 months, which could lead into a new unannounced expansion in summer 2025 or later. Episodes could continue for another iteration, which then leads into Destiny 3 in 2026, or maybe early 2027. It is also worth remembering that Marathon is also in development, which is likely to release in 2025. So whether Bungie has the capacity to maintain Destiny 2 launch Marathon and maintain that, continue those two live service games and develop Destiny 3 at the same time, well, we are just going to have to wait and see. Well, I did put out a post on YouTube to ask for your comments about Destiny 3. I did get some feedback, so thank you very much for your comments. First of all, we've got Jerome Poe 946 Jerome says, Honestly, I believe D3 would be best for D2. 
as it's so broken, it's impossible to get new players and old players. They are getting tired of the game. If you make a sequel, you'll need a reason, and I believe that is what episodes are supposed to lead up to. And then we'll get a long hiatus while Bungie nurtures the newborn, and Marathon is testing the waters, then maybe spend one more year on that followed by announcement for Destiny 3. And in that time of Marathon, we'll see a D1 final Age of Triumph update, where everything is updated and we get a massive overhaul for the new game, with the time for patches and maybe the exotic mission on the return of Wrath to keep people busy five or six months, maybe a little more than that, and then launch Destiny 3. What we could get, I'm not exactly creative enough for that, and what I want usually goes against the community's core sentiment. So I love auto rifles, even though they'll never be up to meta T, and I think bows shouldn't have been added. Either way, I love the game, just burnt out from the last year's poor decision making, and hopefully they keep up what they've been doing the past month or so, and maybe more vets will continue returning. Just my thoughts, and I could go on, but I won't waste you all's time. If you're reading this, have a good day or night. Well, thank you for your comments, Jerome. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, a lot of long-term players have been burnt out on the decisions at Bungie over the last 12 months or so. But hopefully, things do seem to be looking up, and I hope they are getting better. Next up, we got Jesse Lopez, 7103. And Jesse says, they just need to make Destiny 3 already, but only exclusive for newer generation of consoles and PC. Yes, Jesse, I absolutely 100% agree with you. We should definitely leave behind the old consoles like PS4 and uh, the older Xbox and uh, just continue on PS5, Xbox Series consoles and also the PC too. Then we got Baba Yaga 87. Baba says they won't make another game. They've invested far too much into this game just to leave it for another one. Well, Baba, I understand where you are coming from, but to be honest, I really think we need a bit of a reset. I think we've gone on for Destiny 2 far too long now and another numbered sequel. I think it just makes sense. Then we got Zen Meteor 9545, and Zen Meteor says, I feel like if Destiny 3 does ever come, you know, it's going to be in the form of a spin off, or just really far in the past or the future. Well, Zen Meteor, I do think it is quite interesting. They could tell other stories in the Destiny universe. I think there's a whole load of lore that they can dive into. Yes, the Light and Darkness saga has been really, really good, but it has gone on for 10 years. I think personally, it's time to get out of the solar system. I do like the idea about going into the past or into the future. And with the Vex, I guess there is potential for us exploring that in future storylines. Well, thank you, everybody, for your comments. Really, really appreciate you getting involved. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think about Destiny 3 in development at Bungie. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it exists? Let me know what you think. But that is it for this video today, looking at is Destiny 3 in development at Bungie? And as always... Thank you so much for watching or for listening. Don't forget you can hit that subscribe button down below to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content here on Endgame Express. You can also like the video and also share the video too. That would really help us out here on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you very soon.